Well, welcome back to Front Page. And before the break, we told you about Larry Ellison's obsession with Elon Musk and how that line, 20 watt meat computer in core, turned into a rallying cry at Oracle AI World, where Oracle announced the world's largest AI cluster, a 1.2 billion watt AI brain, quietly powering Grok, ChatGPT, and a new wave of reasoning models, agentic systems that will reshape the world beneath the application layer. That was the power plant, and just a few hours later in Texas, the story came full circle. Because Jensen Huang showed up at SpaceX and hand-delivered a petaflop of compute to Elon Musk, a 1.2 kg DGX Spark, the world's smallest AI supercomputer. Nine years ago, Jensen Huang drove across San Francisco to hand open AI its first DGX-1. That box helped train the models that became ChatGPT. Yesterday, he did it again, this time at SpaceX, just hours before Starship Flight 11, and delivering a desktop-sized supercomputer to Elon Musk. This time, the supercomputer fits, well, in a backpack. Basically, here is what shipped. NVIDIA DGX Spark, the world's smallest AI supercomputer. Why does this matter? One petaflop of AI performance on your desk. Form factor, 1.2 kgs, desktop sized. The silicon, Grace Blackwell GB10 super chip. The memory, 128 GB unified CPU and GPU. Fabric, NVLink C2C with 5 into PCIe Gen 5 bandwidth. As far as the workloads are concerned, fine tune up to 70B params, inference up to 200B params, the stack, full NVIDIA AI stack, CUDA, CUDA libraries, NIM uh, microservices, frameworks, the price and availability, $3,999, orders open October 15th via NVIDIA.com and OEM partners like Acer, Asus, Dell, HP, Lenovo, MSI, etc. It brings us to a nostalgia loop. In 2016, DGX1 lit the fuse on the modern AI era. In 2025, DGX Spark puts that fuse in everyone's hands. The first units went to Elon Musk at SpaceX. Early systems are already in the wild at Microsoft, Google, Meta, Hugging Face, Olama, Palo Alto, NYU Global, Frontier Lab, Arizona State Robotics, Refic, Anadol Studio, and more. Petascale computing on our desktop, a new way to do AI research even for privacy-sensitive applications, end quote. This was said by Kyung Jung Cho, NYU Global Frontier Lab. Early takes from the builder community are calling this, well, a lab in a box, end quote. Many were impressed, saying it could significantly reduce reliance on the cloud by creating a unified memory environment that actually brings everything closer to the developer. The translation to all of this is, well, this isn't a trophy device. It's distribution. Local is greater than remote latency, privacy, and cost flip overnight. You can now prototype, fine-tune, and ship on the same desk no egress, no queues, no surprise bills. The analogy to that, data sensors, centers were railroads. DGS Spark is the motorcycle. You don't move the world's tracks, you weave through them. Unified memory is equal to fewer walls. 128 GB unified memory plus NVLink C2C, which is 5 into PCIe Gen 5, means larger models without gnarly sharding smoother multimodal agents vision plus text plus audio faster iteration for retrieval tool use and video pipelines the analogy to this instead of loading and unloading at every warehouse you work out of a single massive backpack agents at the edge with nim microservices Cosmos and on-device toolchains teams can run agentic workflows locally. RAG for private corpora. No data leaves the room. Vision search plus 
video summarization on prem real time robotics and autonomy at the edge the analogy to this if chatgpt is the cloud operating system dgx spark is the field kit the kit that shows up where the work happens as far as researchers and labs are concerned irb friendly experiments reproducibility without cloud drift for startups lower burn ship faster keep ip on device seamless local to cluster scaling let's talk about enterprises private fine tuning on prem inference policy clean audit trails then come the creatives and the studios faster renders video gen and multimodal edits without round trips on the robotics and edge front sim is equal to real loops in one box field deployments that don't phone home so basically at $3999 a single unit won't replace a super cluster but it collapses time and cost in the most expensive phase of ai iteration you iterate locally validate quickly and only scale what's proven that reduces this token spend prompting and eval data movement compliance friction idle gpu tax queuing and over provisioning playbook shift cloud becomes the publishing step not the drafting step well in 2016 dgx1 arrives deep learning goes mainstream 2025 dgx spark arrives personal supercomputing becomes normal we've seen this well movie before mini computers well equal to pcs on prem servers which leads to cloud and now cloud only ai leads to hybrid personal ai every time compute got closer to creators the next wave of products appeared faster than anyone expected finally a petaflop you can hold if chat gpt and grok feel like the ai operating system dgx spark is the macbook moment the moment supercomputing becomes personal models will keep changing clouds will keep growing but the work the messy creative breakthrough work just move back to the desk and this is how the next chapter starts not with a bigger data center but with a smaller distance between idea and iteration rails built the ai era reach will define the next one and yesterday jensen shortened the reach to arms length